Yo, 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 what's poppin', my goons, we back Yeah, back to that credit chat, that credit game, you know the name Your host, Spontaneous Productions We out here, summertime You know the move, you know the vibe Get them credit cards up, high limit Credit scores go up, high limit, no gimmick You know, so Look, authorized users this is gonna get your credit score up quick. You wanna get your score up quick, you gotta get an authorized user. So, you got some shit hidden for the fall. You go ahead and get some credit cards when the authorized users on hit. So, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what happens with, with this authorized user shit. So, check it out. For those who don't know, authorized user trade line, what it is is just a, a, a credit card, and this credit card, it's in somebody's name, it's their, on their personal credit card in their file, and it's gonna have a certain high limit amount of dollar limit credit line, and it's gonna have a certain amount of age, however long it's been open. So basically, that, that combination right there is gonna add points to your credit file. So you want, you want these large point boosts with this authorized user stuff, and it'll help you get high limit credit cards because it's already sitting on your file. It, like the information, you're just piggybacking off somebody's credit card. So that information will get sent to the three credit bureaus. So, for those who don't know, now the thing about this authorized user, it is legal. This is legal shit to do. So, what you want to do is go ahead and add these to your profile and it's going to boost up your score and give you some more accounts and give you some more age and give you some high limit shit on hit. You'll need that so you can get high, high limit credit cards in your own name, primaries in your own name. So what you want is an authorized user with the positive payment history. Make sure that shit is low. Make sure whoever you're using, their authorized user you're piggybacking from that person is responsible and they shit is on low when they don't owe no money zero balance you want an authorized user like that because that'll boost your score up now what you don't want is an authorized user where they run up the card so somebody who runs up their fucking credit card straight up sky high with the credit card debt like that card's about to be maxed out any day now those are the authorized users you want to stay away from that's going to drag your score down so those will hurt your score. Stay away from those janky AUs. Straight up, my boy. That will hurt your score. So you want the good ones that'll boost your score. And so that's all we're interested in over here at Spontaneous Productions. Okay? Got it. So, well, what's going to happen is you might have to lease this stuff out. Sometimes you can't find somebody to add you, like a friend or a family member who can do it for you for free. So... Step one is go to a friend or a family member and try to get them to add you for free. Try try out on like three family members. Hit your you know brother up, your auntie up, and your mama up. And if they all say yes, that's three people right there. That's three AUs added to your file. And just assume like each AU is gonna give you a 30 point boost. That's just 90 points. You just went up, pow. Across all three credit bureaus, depending on what credit card it was and whatnot, how it reported. And some some authorized users report quick. Some take a few months. I had an authorized user that month report. It was a Capital One. It reported in probably like ten days after I got it. But some other authorized users like Amex might take like three months. And other cards, you know, they just vary in time. Could be one month. Could be forty-five days. You just really don't know. So. You just kind of got to be patient with that. That's the thing with the authorized users, too. You got to be patient with that. Because you just don't know exactly what day it's going to hit. That's, you know, out of everybody's hands. That's in the credit bureau's hands and the credit issuing bank's hands. So, I had an authorized user. I used it. It helped me to get funding. It was a Capital One authorized user for $11,250. And it was 12 years of old age And it really boosted me up and helped me out And then I got credit cards after that So, well, that was in January So I'm about to just give you a review Of what it's like When the authorized user is on hit So, 
when the authorized user is on hit, there's gonna be a window of time. You gotta use that window of time to apply for credit cards. So by using window of time, you know, I was expecting to be on there for two months. That's what the industry standard is, two months. You're gonna be on that motherfucker two months, basically, and then you're gonna be taking off the file. But sometimes it could perform differently. Sometimes you'll be taking off the file in two months, but it'll still linger on and hang on for months longer or years longer. Or it might fall off immediately. You just never know. So in my case, what happened is this. In about, it took about three months. It, it actually reported to all three bureaus so we can start with that. It reported to all three bureaus within like, like 10 days. Within 10 days on hit, all three bureaus. And then next, they boosted up the score. And then after that, I was removed from the file, but it lasted for three months on all three bills. So for whatever reason, I got three months. And then it fell off the file on one bureau. So on one bureau, it fell off the file. So it's no longer there, just completely gone, erased. It's clear, it's as if it's never was even there. Doesn't show up as a closed account, nothing. It's just gone like it was never ever there. And then my average age of accounts cut back down. Instead of being, you know, a couple years out like it was, like two years and some change, it cut down to like five months. On that one bureau. Now, it's been six months and it's still reporting on two bureaus. So on two bureaus, it's still open and active and reporting. So it's still lingering on. So again, back to the, you never can't tell how the AUs are gonna stay on or if they're gonna fall off. And if you ever wanna take an AU off yourself, you can manually do it. You just call up yourself and, and to, the, to the credit bureaus or send a letter and say, hey, I wanna be removed from this authorized user. Please remove it. And then you'll get removed from that shit. And straight up, for, for whatever reasons that you might wanna do that. But basically, with my situation, I just had an authorized user hit in January, and then now it's June, summertime, and it's still on hit on two bureaus. So that was an excellent case of an AU that's still on hit. Like, so who knows what it's gonna do next month? It might fall off next month, or it might linger on. I'm not sure, but the terms of the deal was two months, and the the deal was satisfied and everything was situated you know all parties were happy so basically authorized user boost your credit score up and, and you get up for two month increments out now if I want to boost my score up some more what I'll do is just add more authorized users straight up I can add a few more authorized users if I really want to boost up if I'm really trying to max it out try to take it to an 800 I'll just probably add like three more authorized users or two more or maybe one super heavy high powered line but you know all, all these will have like different prices if you're into buying AUs on the market so if you're in the AU market and, you, and you're searching around buying right now the AU market is a little bit tough right now because the AUs are, are starting to get a bad rep and they're starting to starting to get hip to the AU market so the AU market is kind of going under right now. So a AUs are not as easily accessible on the market as they once were. Straight up, I had access to some AUs and that site is no longer available. And there's other ones also that no longer are active with the AUs. And you have to be careful with the AUs too. Here's the thing you got to be careful about with AUs. When you do the AUs, you're giving out your information. So if you're on the AU market and you're buying, you're buying uh, AU slots on the market, you got to give your full name, your address, your social, your date of birth to a stranger on the internet. And you just never know. They can do all type of fuck shit with your account and your identity. You get identity theft, they could take your information, put it on the black web, make credit cards, 
you know, they got machines and shit called embossers. We take the embosser and just make IDs and shit, make credit cards with your information and shit. And then now they running up credit card debt in your name and shit, shit like that. So you gotta you gotta be careful with them them AUs buying them from strangers on the internet. So that's why it's always best to go to family and friends first, because family and friends that might be the plug for the AUs or just a reliable source like somebody you could trust, like straight up. Because you just never know how the, the AU situation's gonna go, because they're cracking down on the AU the AU market. And then FICO 10 is coming out, and FICO 10. As soon as that just gets into circulation for 2021, that's gonna look back into your credit file two years instead of just a snapshot of what you got going right now. So that's gonna have a different effect and a different influence on how credit's being issued. But nobody's gonna know how that works until 2021. So I don't really be talking about it. There was a lot of pandemonium about that shit, but nobody really knows. So. You know, and nobody will know until it hits. But one thing we do know is it th- that they already explained that's how they're gonna do it, straight up. So that's coming for 2020, my boys. They gonna look at your file two years back. So that's why it's best to boost up now, straight up. The best thing you can do is boost up now, ASAP. Real talk, my boys. Boost up ASAP, man. You gotta get the motherfucking lines hitting hard And the motherfucking AUs on the AU market I'm telling you The AU market, they're, they're a little bit hard to get So the prices are higher and So so the prices are higher than, the, than they were in January, February, March Now now prices are getting high with the AUs Because they're getting more scarce They're starting to shut down them sites Left and right All the sources Because the motherfuckers is fucking it up With all, the, all that scamming and identity theft, so be careful with that. So I need all my goons to get it up, man. Get them credit scores up, man. Throw them AUs on there, and, and, and when the AU, if if you need more credit, like the AU expires and falls off your file, get you another AU, man. That's how you do that. Shut up. You get you another AU or another AU, and it'll just boost it right back. Boom. Shoot that score right back up, man. Pump that motherfucker up. And then just go ahead and apply for that funding. You might have paid, you know, a thousand dollars for some AUs and shit. And somebody might say, damn, that's a lot of money just to you know boost the credit score. But what if you paid that thousand, you boost that credit score, you got a proof for some shit. And then now you didn't save five thousand, eight thousand over the course of the year now. Ten thousand, you just done save. So that's what motherfuckers use these trade lines, these AUs. They help you get stuff. They help you boost up. Straight up, man. A lot of motherfuckers don't know still. So I'm just kicking game, man. Kicking game. So you can just boost up with them AUs on your personal file. Them AUs. Motherfuckers be putting AUs on CPNs. That's the, that's the CPN hustle motherfuckers be doing. They be putting AUs on CPNs. Take a fake number and then boost it up to a motherfucking 750 credit score and start getting stuff. You know, that shit's crazy. That's fraud shit too, you know? So, like, authorized users. So, authorized users will help you out. They'll boost you out. Get you right. So, that being said, my goons. Shut it down, man. I'm tired. I was in the gym for five hours today. They opened up the gym, man. I'm back in this motherfucker, man. I'm back pumping. It feels great. I'm so beat down. My body's beat down, man. But I just had to beef up, boss up real quick. Get to it. So I feel amazing. So I need all my goons to get back in that gym. All my pretty goons get back in that gym. I see you, mama. You was on them squats. You was hitting it hard today. That's right. Stay on that. Them ballers is pulling up. Believe that. Quarantine over. So, yo, you found the value in this video? Like, subscribe, share, comment, donate. You know what to do. My goons. Shout out to Feral Monster Styles P, man. On the beat.
and we out. Peace.